Hi, seventh grade. I wanted to walk you through the Squudgies Mutations Lab. The directions can be a bit confusing, so if you were having trouble, or if you're just starting here, that's fine. Let's go ahead and do this together. So first things first, we're going to read through the Squudgy Mutation directions. It's this PDF here. All right, so it says Planet Mutations, Squudgies and Fudgies. This is MSLS 1-3. Introduction. Squudgies are a species of creature from the cold magenta-covered forests of planet Naboo. Squudgies, with thick, fuzzy fur, are able to stay warm enough to survive in this harsh environment. Squudgies are peaceful creatures, but they are hunted by a scary monster species called Fudgies. Fast, fuzzy, magenta-colored squudgies that can blend into the forest and outrun the fudgies are able to live and reproduce better than other squudgies. That is important. Fast, fuzzy, magenta-colored squudgies that can blend into the forest and outrun fudgies are able to live and reproduce. Here's the problem. A newborn baby squudgy was just born to a slow, magenta-colored mommy squudgy with four spots and fuzzy fur. But the baby squudgy's genes have been mutated. Your job is to determine what effect would each mutation have on the proteins coded for in the baby squudgy, what effect would each mutation have on the traits of the baby squudgy, and would these effects be beneficial, harmful, or neutral, which means no effect for the baby squudgy's ability to survive and reproduce. Let's talk about genetics. The traits of the squudgies, which determine how well it will be able to survive in the forest, are determined by four different genes located on chromosome number three. The proteins, which each gene codes for, are determined by a three-letter code in the gene. Use the information below to learn about the genes of the mommy squudgy. So this is the mommy's, the mommy squudgy's genes and her resulting traits. So here we go, the speed gene. The speed gene of the mommy squudgy has a code of UGU. This is the three letters that code in that gene for the protein and the trait she has. So UGU. This codes for a protein called sloanine, which causes the squudgy to be slow. Number two, the color gene. The color gene of the mommy squudgy has a code of CCA. This codes for a protein called magenta globin, which makes the squudgy magenta colored. Number three, the spot gene. The spot gene of the mommy squudgy has a code UGA. This codes for a protein called quadrinine, which gives the squudgy four spots. Finally, the fuzziness gene. The fuzziness gene of the mommy squudgy has code CGA. This codes for a protein called fuzzolin, which gives the squudgy very fuzzy fur. Okay, so that's the mommy squudgy. These are her genes, and her proteins, and her traits. All right, the mutation station. Squudgies reproduce asexually, so baby squudgies' genes should be an exact copy of mommy squudgies. You'll recall that asexual reproduction results in a copy of genes, so the baby squudgies' genes should be an exact copy of mommy squudgies but its genes have been mutated. Use the steps below to determine how your squudgy's genes have been mutated and the resulting effect on the squudgy's proteins and traits. For each gene, roll the dice and use the data table to determine the resulting gene code for each. Fill in the squudgy mutation table with the resulting code for each gene. You'll notice that there's four genes. There's the speed, color, spots, and fuzz. There's the resulting codes based on those mutations. And we're gonna have to roll a dice to figure out which 
code resulted from the mutation. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't have dice lying around. Now, that's a pretty simple fix. If you go to Google and you type dice roller, Google just so happens to have a dice for you to roll. You can click, sorry, click the roll button. It'll give you a random number. So this will count for our dice rolls. All right, so I'm gonna roll the dice one, two, three, four times, once for speed, once for color, spots and fuzz, and I'll figure out the resulting code for each of those mutations. Now this is a good point to pause and go ahead and start our classwork. All right, I'm gonna make sure to put my name, and then I can fill out the data table with the information, and I'm gonna answer the questions below for submitting for grading. So before mutation, I know that the squudgy should have had the mommy squudgy's genes. So I'm gonna have to go back to my directions, and I'm thinking, all right, the mommy squudgy had a code of UGU, Okay, so her code was UGU. I'll go back to my directions. This resulted in a protein called sloanine. Okay, so before the pro before the mutation, sloanine. Mommy had a code of UGU, which the baby should have gotten. That codes for the protein sloanine. And go figure, this causes the squudgy to be slow. Next, I'm gonna figure out what happens based on my dice roll to the code after the mutation. All right, so I'll come down here. We're gonna do speed. I'm looking for a number one through six and I'm gonna figure out the resulting code. So I go to my dice roller. If you do what I do, <laughs> if you click the dice, you can pick how many sides you want in a dice. So I'm gonna click a six-sided dice and I'll hit roll, I get four. All right, so I go back to my directions. A four results in the code U, U, U. I'm gonna make sure to fill out my data table. After the mutation, the code was U, U, U. And I still have protein and trait. So let's figure out what that means. I'm gonna scroll down to my directions, step two. Use the codon table to determine the protein created in your baby squudgy. Fill the squudgy mutation table with the resulting protein. All right, so I scroll down. I'm gonna look for that code, U, U, U. Oh, turns out it's right there. So U, U, U is a mutation in the code and it results in the protein fastenine. Okay, so the protein fastenine. Interesting, I'm noticing a change has occurred. Then I'm gonna to go to step three. Based on the proteins determined in step two, determine the trait that the baby squudgy will express for each gene. Fill in the squudgy mutation table with the resulting traits. Remember, genes are just the information. Proteins determine your traits. So I have to figure out what my gene was, U, 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 to figure out my protein, fastenine, and then what's the resulting trait? Well, I come down here to proteins to trait table. So I look for fastenine, here it is. That results in my squudgy, go figure, being fast. So finally for my trait, after the mutation, I can write that my squudgy is fast. Now I'm gonna do the exact same steps for the color, spots, and fuzz genes. Remember, before the mutation, baby squudgy should have gotten Mommy Squudgy's genes. She reproduces asexually, so Baby Squudgy should be a clone. A mutation occurred, which means that the codes and possibly proteins and traits might be different. For each one of them, make sure to roll the dice and record the new gene. Figure out what that gene codes for, which protein it codes for, and then finally, which trait would result? Once you have all that, then you can answer the questions. 
again, for conclusions, it says type your answer below each question. So under the one where it says, for each of the four genes, describe the structural changes to the gene, you could start writing your answer in the space below. If you're curious how we're going to grade you, the rubric has been attached. And like always, please feel free to email collaborators to make sure that we get an email when you're ready for us to grade your work, or if you just need some help or hints on how to move forward. Hopefully that helps. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to Ms. Santiago or myself. We're available pretty much all the time. Um, if you're struggling, that's understandable. Reach out if you hit a wall. Good luck.